everyone, welcome to the tutorial How to Scan Human Body I'm Joy from Shiny 3D Now let's perform a faster scan for human body Mia is our model for today's scan Firstly, you need to make advanced settings Click on Portrait If you want to acquire a colorful 3D model You can turn on Acquire Texture for aligning Feature alignment is used by default this alignment mode is ideal for human face or full body scan. No need to turn on texture alignment at the same time. Click the brightness button to adjust the exposure level on the left side of upper camera viewport. When the surface appears slightly red, this indicates the proper exposure status. In the lower camera viewport, it's recommended to adjust the brightness by touching and moving finger up and down for better texture color status according to the lighting environment. If the colors of the object shown in camera viewport differ significantly from the real colors, you can click on the auto white balance button to calibrate the colors. Point the scanner slide at a clean white plane and wait for the calibration to be completed. There is a depth of focus bar on left side you can slide this bar to control the data scan within DOF range flexibly. We recommend setting DOF between 350 mm and 800 mm in fast mode. Since human body is not large size, if you only want to scan a small part, such as face or hand, but requiring high detail data like wrinkle, HD mode is also a good choice to try. Click next the color button. You can see the data quality indicator is displayed by default. Here, you can see the quality status of data scanned. Green area indicates that scanned data is complete, while red area means the data is still incomplete and better to be further scanned if it's a necessary part. To view the real color during scanning, you can also switch to the texture indicator. When scanning human face, it's better to start from the eyes area. And when there's enough data, you can move forward to scan ears, jaw, chin, and hair, etc. Please avoid rescanning the face multiple times in case there's change happened from previous data. Try to capture whole facial data in one attempt and then continue to scan the rest of body data. Maintain a steady speed throughout the scanning process from head to feet. You can hold the device vertically for scanning some narrow gap. Try shooting from different angles and directions to maximize the scan area. When you complete the scan, edit the point cloud data by removing unnecessary parts around body model. Then save and go to Mesh Generation Phase. You can either choose one-click processing for automatic meshing and texture mapping from recommended parameters or manually generate mesh with customized setting. When setting parameters manually, choose whether to use watertight, set the resolution and mesh smoothness, as well as whether to apply texture mapping. For whole body data scan in fast mode, Point distance above 1 mm is recommended for the balance between efficiency and data detail level. For face data only scan in HD mode, you can try setting closer point distance for higher resolution mesh result. Click in Apply to generate mesh model and save it. Thanks for watching.